everyone, welcome back. This is the Bent Knitter. So this week we are going to go into another yarn review. Um, just when you think I have run out of yarn to review, no, there's always more. There's always more. I'm already scanning more. But this week we're going to go into some El Rey um, yarn. It is a classic, rustic, sorry, lace quad. Um, it's actually from New Zealand and it's wool and silk. 75% wool and 25% silk. Now, I will put all the information in the description below, like always, in case anyone has any questions about it. Um, and if I remember where I actually got it from, I will put a link there, so that way if you want to pick some up, um, you can do so. Keep in mind, this is a little bit more on the expensive side of yarn, of stuff that I've uh, purchased or reviewed in the past, but you do get uh, 1,257 yards or 1,150 meters of it. So it is a good amount. Um, I did get two skeins, two different colors. Um, one is kind of a red-yellow um, mix. Um, more red than yellow, but that mustard's in the middle, so it's more definitely yellow. The other one, and this one's called Coliseum, in case anyone is really kind of wondering what they name everything. People always have the most interesting names. The other one, um, th that I actually knit off is called uh, Yellowstone, um, which is a green combination mainly. So I did a shawl with this just because um, I do have a lot of, like I said before, a lot of yardage. So as you can see, even with this one, it kind of goes into a green yellow into a dark green. Um, I haven't finished, but the ending color is like this dark green. It seems like they do like having um, a dark color on the end, which is a nice kind of anchor point for it. Um, but a uh, couple notes on the actual physical yarn. It is kind of that wool feeling, so it is a little bit more rougher. Not an uncomfortable rough, but it is kind of, you know, when you have suck, it's very smooth, very soft. Um, with this yarn, it is since wool. A little bit more rougher to feel, but it's not uncomfortably rough, which is which is nice, um, or kind of part of the skin. So definitely appreciate that, but also with the colors, um, there is no fade, um, which is not good or bad, just something of note. Um, it does just kind of go jump into one color into the next uh, within a couple stitches, at least with the needle that I was using, um, three, four stitches, and it was on to the next color. So it is kind of that jump from one color to another. Just something to keep in mind when you're knitting this up. But overall, I do really like this yarn because it is, like I said, you do get a lot of it. And it's very nice and soft. So like, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, especially if you wanna do something that with a lot of colors, but not necessarily that fade you get with some yarn. So, but also, I, you've seen me use this pattern before where I'm going to create the um, tassels uh, later on by undoing some stitches, which always feels weird. But again, very nice yarn, very nice coloring. Um, I do like the color combinations. It looks like they did a good amount of thought of one color to the next because it is kind of a gentle hop from one color to another. So it is all green. But it is kind of different shades of green, so the most you're not going to get a jarring color uh, jump from one to another. Maybe a little bit with the end colors because, like I said, it does go from like a light green to a dark green, and the same goes for um, the red, as you can see, just goes from medium red to a very dark red, um, which is fine and dandy. But they do a very, like I said, they do a very nice job of picking the colors carefully for the yarn. So definitely go check it out. Like I said, a little on the expensive side, but also you do get a lot. So that way it is lace weight. So if you, you're into that type of yarn, type of weight of yarn, definitely right up your alley. Hope you like it. If there's any yarn that you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. That way I can go check it out and pick some up so I can review it for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you next week and leave me those comments. Bye.